All right, guys, I hope you're well. Um, I want to do a quick video on a very uh, common question. How do you compare the poems um, in the English literature exam? Do you do it separately? So one paragraph, one paragraph. Do you do it in the same paragraph? Do you do three paragraphs on one poem and then three paragraphs on another poem? Now, having taught this for years now, I think that the best way, the more secure, the more solid way of getting a high mark for the comparison question is to 100% compare the poems in the same paragraph. Now, I will tell you why that is. I've seen every type of essay. There's students who will do three paragraphs on one essay and then three paragraphs on another essay. Now, this is not a comparison. This is you just simply writing two essays about two poems. Therefore, this one is an X. We cannot do this structure or this technique of writing a poetry comparison essay. Now, secondly, I've seen students write one paragraph on one poem and then another paragraph on another poem. And what they'll do is they'll put the word similarly or however in between the two paragraphs. Now, my biggest critique of this is that just by writing the word similarly doesn't mean you're comparing because you're not going back and forth. You're not bouncing between the two poems. If I said that this jacket is green similarly to the grass outside, I've made the same point. Yes, they're both green, but I haven't compared. I haven't gone back and forth comparing the words and the language and the structure and the point I'm trying to make. That is why, for me, the best way to write a poetry comparison essay has to be those essays that compare in the same paragraph. Because what it does is you almost are forced to go back and forth, back and forth between the point you are comparing. You show the examiner that there's a clear comparison. So, for example, if you're comparing a power and conflict poem and your point is that 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 conflict is shown through fighting in one poem and conflict is shown through talking in another poem. By you comparing in the same paragraph, you're almost making a point, you're comparing it and then you're going back to the original point. So you're going that way. So you make your point, then you compare across and then you link it back to your initial point. By doing that, you are putting the examiner in a position that they are forced to give you the marks. Um, I will put a model answer up on the screen um, and it's probably up there for a few minutes but I really want you guys to get into the habit of comparing in the same paragraph. Now what do you compare is a, another question that needs to be addressed. First you look at the point. Are you making two similar, are you making two similar points? So for example uh, love is shown through emotions. If it's, is that the same point you're comparing in both points? If it is, then you make that crystal clear. And then you look at the technique, the way this is done. <clears throat> and this is where your comparison lies. So the point might be the same, but how it's rolled out, is that the same? For example, one poet may show love through emotions by the way the poet, poem is structured. Whereas the other poem may show love through emotions through similes and metaphors. Same point, different techniques. Therefore, you compare that. You say how both poems show very similar points. However, the way they go about showing these points is different. One does it to structure, one does it to language. And you talk about the effects of these two. And then right at the end, you summarize which one you think is more effective. So guys, you make your point about one poem, you give your quote, you explain the effect. Then you move on to the second poem and you give your same point if it's a similarity or a different point if it's a difference. Then you explain the effect of the language or the structure, comparing it to if it's a similar effect to the first poem or a different effect. And then you come back and you summarize which one of these two poems um, does it better or has more of it, depending on what you're comparing. Guys, this question year in, year out is the hardest question in the exam. Too many people don't compare. By forcing your comparison in the same paragraph, you're forcing yourself to compare and you're forcing yourself to bounce back and forth 
between the two poems you're comparing. And that is what a comparison is. A comparison is bouncing back and forth between the poems. I call it ping pong. Yeah, you want to serve, hit it across and then take it back. And that is how you compare. I hope the model answer on screen helps you guys. Um, any questions about this, drop it down below. Drop me a DM on Instagram, like the video, share the video, subscribe. Your support is, is much needed and thank you so much. Um, as always guys, it's been Mr. Everything English.